There's a half a dozen ways to draw this. I'm just going to do it a way. I don't mean this way is better than all the others, but man is a tripart being, right? He is body. I'm putting that first, not because the Bible gives us that first when it mentions these, but because this is the part you see, okay? That's the outside. Inside that body, you also have a soul, right? And then within a man, he also has, thank you, he has a spirit. And when a man is born into this world, he is born spiritually dead. Now, when you read that word dead or when you hear that word dead, think of this. Death is separation. Your, your spirit isn't rotting away in there because it dies. It's not, it's not death in that sense. It is death in the sense that it is separated from God. When Adam and Eve were in the garden before they uh, ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, guess what? They are physically alive and they are spiritually alive. Their, their soul and spirit are, are in connection with their body. When your soul and spirit leave your body, it's separated, and guess what happens to your body? It, it dies, right? Now, as soon as, you, now and, and as soon as they sinned, what happened to them spiritually? They died. But in what way? Their spirit was no longer connected to God. Now when you come into the world, you come in, I'm going to quote chapter 2, verse 1, which will be in next Sunday, you're dead in trespasses and sins. In what way are you dead? You're not physically dead. You're spiritually dead. And you're spiritually dead in the sense that your spirit, when you come into this world, you don't know God and you don't know His ways. And that's just where you are. 